Hey, welcome back. I cannot believe another month has come and gone, but I'm back with another round of monthly empties that I'm going to take you through. Um, sort of a more exciting month for products used. Uh, now that I'm not working every day, I'm wearing considerably more makeup products uh, way more consistently. So I hope to be able to cycle through more stuff so that these videos don't get like extremely boring and mind numbing to you. Um, I wanna go ahead and start right away because there's no sense in sitting talking about it. My first empty is the Visanti Brighten Up. I think that's how you say it. I got this a while back, I think in a birch box or Ipsy. I really liked this. This was in my travel bag and I just finished it this weekend. Uh, it's an exfoliator and it's a little harsh so like I only would use it before a mask or maybe at night if I wore heavy makeup. I would never use it in the morning just because I like something a little bit more light and gentle in the morning but um, if I was in a financial position to just be buying everything that I liked at this time I would definitely buy the full size of this because you can just feel how clean and smooth your skin feels after using this yeah I really did like this I think that it's something that would be worth definitely repurchasing in the future up next is my absolute hands down holy grail um favorite dry shampoo in the whole entire world. I think that chlorine makes the best dry shampoos and I've only been washing my hair approximately once a week these days. That's what my hairdresser recommended because I am trying to, you know, like repair and recover it from very many at-home dye jobs and bleach sessions, which I don't recommend. Don't do that at home, even though I'm gonna continue to. <laughs> <laughs> There's one that comes in the white can, which I think is their original, I believe, and this has nettle oil control. And I think, um, I'm not sure if it's discontinued or not, but they used to have like an oat one also, which I couldn't find on the Sephora website. That's where I get this dry shampoo, but I really like it. It does leave a white cast on the hair which I kind of also prefer, so I know what spots I like got. It is a bit on the pricier side, especially for a dry shampoo, but I think it's worth every fucking penny. This is hands down the best dry shampoo I've ever used in my whole entire life. And I have super greasy hair, and this makes it look like I, instead of being five days past wash day, it makes it look like it's like day old or two day old hair, so um, like by no means is it gonna look absolutely fresh brand new like you just shampooed it but no dry shampoo does that at least not in my experience so yes I 100% recommend this and the original one that comes just in the white can that's also phenomenal next up was just a jar of face scrub my little sister makes um, scrubs and lip balms and bath bombs and deodorants and just little handmade things like that her little dog paw sticker uh, but I finished this jar I also use it as a body scrub because sugar scrubs are a little much just for my face my esthetician well I don't I don't personally have an esthetician but whenever I do go get facials I always go to the same lady and she told me to use sugar scrub on my face I personally don't like it it's like too exfoliating for me it's just feels a little bit too harsh um, but I do love sugar scrubs on the body and my sister makes them with essential oils and coconut oil and uh, just things that feel really nice um, feel kind of luxurious even if you're balling on a budget so I have a whole bunch of stuff that she has made for me um, and I think the scrub is probably one of my favorites to be honest next up my lashaholic lashes they're upside down. You guys know, oops, she fell out. You guys know what's up. They are my favorite lashes, really the only lashes I use. Um, this pair, oh, also, I believe they're, they're all cruelty free, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So you would have to like, you know, check in yourself on that. 
but this is in the style Independent. I really like them because like some of Lashaholics lashes are just sort of, they're not like completely all one length, but they're a little bit harder to distinguish, you know, what eye does it go on. But these are really nice because they're shorter on the inner corners and they're really long and then they like the way that they curl up oh it's just so flirty and dreamy and i got so many compliments every time i wore them they're gorgeous and especially with like the way that i do my eye makeup i often make it darker just like you know my outer corner they just looked so flirty and beautiful and i absolutely love them i will recommend lashaholic lashes over and over and over again i have so many pairs of them I cannot, I just can't stop speaking the praises for it. A really, really good brand. Um, I am not in any way affiliated with them. I just have a lot of their shit and I like it a lot. I wish I was affiliated with them. Oof, give me those discount codes. Normally they last me approximately like a month or so of really consistent wear, wearing them several times a week. So, I mean, for those prices, I really can't, uh, can't really complain I do have to wash them sometimes I use the solution that I got um, one time I got eyelash extensions and they gave me you know like the stuff you just sort of squirt on your eyelashes and massage them I use that you're not supposed to get these well it says don't get them wet and don't put oil near them but I have found that they do not fall apart if I put the lash cleansing solution on them and then I just really gently pat them dry like to wipe off the clumps of mascara and stuff. I gently pat them with a towel and then I leave them out to air dry until the next day and they're totally fine. This style, I really, really loved. Oh, I wish I didn't have this natural light, but it just looks so nice. Um, I did have to trim them just a teeny bit because it was my fault. They weren't too long to begin with, but I had to trim them because I was pulling off the... Uh, lash glue off the band and I accidentally grabbed like a whole ass chunk of lash out so I had to just trim them up a little bit to fix that but they still looked really nice um, even when they didn't go as far over so my next empty I've talked about this in so many of my like tutorial videos it's dirty is the Becca uh, translucent powder it is called Hydramist Set and Refresh Powder, and I absolutely loved it. Of course I ran out of it literally the day that I, or the day after, I heard that Becca is closing down, and I absolutely loved this powder. Like I, it was so good. I'm using a different powder on my face today, and it just, meh, it's fine, but I'm not as in love with it. Um, so I think I'll probably be and in some sales to replace this guy. It does come in two shades, one for slightly darker tones. I don't know how effective that is. Uh, this has almost like a pinky sort of hue to it, but it is really light. That disappears like when you put it on your skin. At least for me it did. I can't, you know, speak for people who are maybe more fair. I really loved it. It's, it's called Hydra Mist. It doesn't obviously like it's not wet because it's powder but it does feel like when you put it on I put it on with a brush and it feels like it's like like a setting mist or something like just being sprayed onto your face it's really refreshing the slaps time to get into I guess I should have maybe mixed it up a little because all of the good products I already talked about <laughs> I have this little sponge I've talked about it I think in a couple of my tutorials which I don't know if those will have been posted by the time I post this video, but it just, ugh, it was really super cheap. I bought it in like a 10 pack on Amazon. I thought I was getting the bigger size sponges uh, cause I do really like this shape for like, in the bigger size, you know, um, for blending out face makeup. It just is so dense and it smells so rubbery and weird. And then it leaves your hand smelling rubbery and weird and I don't know I just didn't like it um it was okay like I used it for a while for like since it's smaller for like my under eye stuff or 
like I use this little itty bitty tip for like contouring my nose which I really don't do anymore because why bother I like my big nose and that's fine that is what it is I used to use it for uh, blending out cream blush as well which I will say it was it did the job pretty well for that uh, but now that I'm doing makeup more consistently and I'm you know posting about it and stuff I just want to use things that perform better they give me a little bit more bang for my buck and that's just not it <laughs> I kind of like mentally struggled with even putting this next empty into this video because it's like nobody will really care but it is something that's still you know being out of my collection I am free of it it's just a little hotel sample Paul Mitchell Awapui shampoo <laughs> It's called Super Rich Wash. Um, I will say that the only thing rich about it is the fact that you need to have money to rent a hotel <laughs> for the night. Like, it's just, I mean, you know, obviously I wasn't expecting much. But I do keep these little samples, like I, uh, not samples, I'm sorry. I keep the little travel sizes in my travel bags so that if I'm just sleeping over at a friend's house or whatnot, I don't have to bring like a huge ass thing of shampoo and conditioner. And I can just use this. My last empty, well, as far as makeup stuff goes, this video I am separating like makeup and my more sort of like health and wellness supplements so that if you are not interested in one or the other, you don't have to like sit through the whole video and watch the whole thing. But this is just a free little Sephora sample that I got. It's the Benefit Boyoing, <laughs> Boyoing. <laughs> Boing, <laughs> so stupid. Benefit boing. I don't know how to say it. Like it, what's more mature? The brightening concealer. I believe they have like three different kinds. They have the brightening, they have the hydrating, and something else. And I'm not sure if just they discontinued this one specifically. But I went to go see if I could, like, just see more about it. And I looked at, I believe. Sephora and they only had like one or two shades and then I looked on the actual benefit website and they only had like one more than that so I'm not sure if this just was discontinued or if they really just have such an abysmal shade range the the color that was sent to me it pulled like it made my under eyes straight up pink like it was straight up pink and there was enough in this little thing that I was able to use it like elsewhere on my face. It kind of worked out almost because I, it was only like one day's worth of product, but I used it everywhere on my face and it was just like a really nice, would have been far more coverage if I had just used it as concealer, but I almost used it like foundation like. And since I'm really pink and red right here, it kind of worked for that, but I definitely wouldn't recommend this maybe if I had found a better shade for my skin maybe if I had you know a slightly bigger sample that I'd be able to work with it and see if it would work with other you know products better but moving forward I have two like health and wellness uh, related empties this is I got it for Christmas from my friend Hannah like a couple of years ago, like years, years ago. And it's the Tivana Ruby Spice Cider. Oops, I didn't open the thing. <laughs> it smells so good. It has like, it's so like spicy and warm and it tastes like Christmas. Like it doesn't. I mean, obviously you can drink it any time of the year, but it straight up tastes like Christmas. And I definitely am keeping this packaging because look how freaking cute it is. Like I'm gonna put something else in there again because I'm hella cheap and it's just so cute. Like I could package like a, a Christmas ornament or something in there maybe and you know, re-gift it. But this tea, let's read what's in it because there's so much packed in it and it's almost like you can taste like every single note that's coming out. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's warm. 
Oh, oh, I'm gonna mention too the some of the pieces are like really small but like you can you can see each individual ingredient like because it's loose leaf tea um so you need like a tea ball or like a, a little steeper that hooks to the side of your cup or whatnot but it's so yummy it's got cinnamon apple pieces hibiscus flowers carob pieces rooibos ginger raisins chicory root uh Plum pieces, black currants, elderberries, orange peel, pomegranate pieces, black pepper, red currants, blueberries, raspberries, cardamom, and cloves. And that's where really I think the Christmassy thing comes out because of the cinnamon, apple, uh, ginger, I'd say plums and cloves. Like those are all really synonymous flavors and scents with Christmas, but it just, oh my God, it smells so good. You make it and your whole like, as you sip it, like your whole little general area just smells like a really yummy potpourri. Um. <sighs> it's so good, I love it. And then last and well, not really least, but you know, um, this is super old. I have had it for quite a long time. It's the Crush Fit Go. BCAAs in the Citrus Sunrise flavor. When this brand first came out, I think they had two supplements and each supplement came in two different flavors. So they had these BCAAs, which came in Citrus Sunrise and like lemon berry or something like that. But I was super excited about it because people that I had been following on Twitter and Instagram at the time, who I really admired and looked up to, Fit Nika. One is Alexis Claire Fit and Auburn Nutter. Those are like their um, current Instagram handles. Those three girls, I absolutely adore them and they all like repped this brand. I believe they're still making supplements but I literally see nobody on the internet talk about them anymore. I will say the flavors that I had bought initially were really, really yummy but um, I moved and I had left it in my car for a little while and uh, the sun just like melted the little, you know, granules. So I had to like chip it up with a knife and then put it in my blender. Also a hack for you, if you do that, it will like make your powders powdery again if you, you know, accidentally melt your pre-workout or whatever supplements. I should check back into crush fit supplements because I don't know I just haven't heard anything about them recently however um, if you are on the lookout for supplements check out black magic supply I am an ambassador for that brand so if you use my code which again I'll put in the description box you can save a little jing so there's that and they have also really cool merch they have like the two pound tubs of whey protein and they're always coming out with really cool flavors of that like right now i believe they are just saying goodbye to a round of like red velvet cake flavor and they have like reese's peanut butter um pieces flavor protein a whole bunch of cool stuff they're always coming out with new pre-workout flavors i think that you definitely should check it out they have everything you'll need, pre-workout, whey. They even have like keto coffee creamers and sleep supplements and, oh, recovery supplements. So keep that in mind. This is all I have for this video today. Overall, I'd say this was like a pretty good month for empties. Uh, most of the things I really liked and would recommend. There were only a couple of things that I think for sure I would pass on again and you know, I would maybe recommend that you do too. But also if you like any of these products, you know, like that concealer or anything and I don't like it, whatever, good for you. Like you just obviously found a better way to make it work than what I did. So just take my opinion with a grain of salt. That is all I have for today's video. Uh, thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. <laughs> All right, that's all. Have a good day.